What's up guys, I'm Sean. Every time I think I'm done tracking my E46 M3, I start to sell some of the track parts. But then after a few months and some car shopping, I realized that my M3 is fully built and it's track ready. So I can't quite let it go yet. But unfortunately, because I sold my Bimmerwald wing, I had to pick up a new wing. I tried tracking before with auto wing, nearly lost control at Sonoma, up the hill turn two, going over 100 miles an hour. To get back into tracking, I had to pick up another wing. This time I picked up this wing from ECS Tuning. It has a 3D airfoil and it's universal, so therefore it's a little bit more modular, so I can customize it. Trying a 3D wing, I like the look of it, but also it's a little bit different than the 2D wing I ran before. ECS Tuning has instructions on their website, so this is going to be a quick DIY video. This plate that mounts underneath the wing mounts like this, so you can mount the stands on the outside of this or on the inside to make it more narrow or more wide. You can even mount this plate over here underneath. Again, the stands on the outside or the inside to make the base mounting area more narrow or more wide. It comes with some shims to match the curvature of the trunk. Of course, the wing is adjustable. The angle of attack is adjustable here. Here's the side plates for the wing. I'm going to assemble the wing and then we're going to mock it up on the trunk and see where we have to drill. I'm going to mount this up to the bottom of the wing. This is the front of the wing. Use these shims. Let's do a test fit on the trunk. I measured it a bunch of times. This is where I want the wing to be. I had to reinstall my OEM lip spoiler. Make sure where I drill, it's not going to drill into wires or anything that's important. Side of the truck, washer goes there. It didn't go in here, so I'm gonna cut this section out. Cut this section out so this is Construction says use a little bit of gasket maker around the hose to prevent water going into the trunk and also rust. A shim for my trunk. Base plate for the wing has been installed. Here's how it looks underneath. And I washed my car and no leaks, which is good. So the RTV gasket maker helped. So now it's time to mount the wing.
Our wing has been installed, but now I have to adjust the angle of attack. Right now, at this setting, it's at a positive 3.8 degrees. I want to get it to zero, so I'm going to bring this front end down a little bit. All right, I just made an adjustment, and now I'm at 0.5. It's almost zero degrees angle of attack. This is close enough for me. So there's multiple holes here and multiple holes on the side to move it up slightly. Move the bolt here, 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 all around to get the degrees you want. So I'm gonna start with close to zero, which is 0.5. Take it to the track, see how it feels, and then increase the angle or decrease the angle. Now I just have to install the wing in plates and there's some holes for variation to match the angle of attack of the wing. So I can model like this, like this, like this. Alright guys, that's a wrap. ECS tuning 3D carbon universal wing has been installed. Because it's universal, it's customizable. So you can adjust the brackets or the mounting location. The concept behind the 3D wing profile is that the air coming off the roof and the back windshield goes underneath the wing and here this angle of attack is less aggressive i have it at 0.6 which is nearly half a degree and with the 3d wing profile the outside the angle is more aggressive i'll show you right here so the outside angle the 3D wing, it's about 4 degrees, and the air off the side of the vehicle is a lot cleaner, so you may want a more aggressive angle of attack on the outside of the wing, whereas the air coming off the roof and the back windshield, it's different airflow, so you might want less angle of attack. So that's the idea behind the 3D wing. Right now I have it right here about 0.6 degrees, and the outside is naturally at about 3.9 degrees angle of attack. Can't wait to try this out on the track next week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.